Hello, YouTube. This is the first time I've gone live on YouTube. Never been on live on YouTube, so I decided to come back on. I normally don't come on twice on Instagram, but I was having difficulties earlier. Oh, that is blurry. And um, so I decided to come back on. Let's see if I can clean this real good. Need some window cleaner for this camera. Hello, thank you for joining me, Morris. Thank you. So what I did is I titled this one, Your Vision and Your Money. Your Vision and what is wrong with this thing? And your money. Your money. We're going to talk about it. Feel free to type in the comments if you have any questions. How are you doing today? Trying to. Hello, Facebook. Welcome. Trying to pin this comment. It worked for me earlier, but the internet was going in and out. Hi, you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry about the weird angle that I'm sitting in. Um, I, as you can see, I'm coming on. Hello, Norman. Hello, uh, Janet. How are you doing today? You doing all right? What I'm doing is I'm trying to pin a comment on Instagram. And it's acting petty. It act like it want to let me pin it, but it's not doing it. Hey, Kimber, how you doing, girl? You know I'm in a DMV, girl. Hey, Jen, how you doing? I am in. So today I'm going to talk about, I'm not going to hold you all too long. I'm going to talk about your vision and your money. So for those of you who have noticed the post, April is devoted for, to the, um, the future business owner, owner or entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Hello, Born. How are you doing? Thank you for joining me. Okay, so your vision affects how you spend, save, and use your money. If you're a business owner or a potential business owner, it affects, yes, I'm in a DMV, girl. I'll message you once I uh, get off this live. Anyway, it affects your 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 vision affects your money this is how and it affects your money it doesn't even if you're not trying to open up a business it affects your personal finances it affects your business finances three ways it affects how you plan because if you do not believe let me back up i like to start things positive my name for those of you hello matthew thank you for joining me for those of you who don't know me my name is jackie i'm a financial coach what i do is i help people build by their dream home uh by the dream car and create that dream business that they desire okay so one of the things i, I had a conversation uh this past week about vision boards i love vision boards in fact if i wasn't already on my phone i would show you all my vision board i have like a digital one and the reason why i create it is to help me with my planning when you have a vision for your life or hopes and dreams hello everybody that joined me on instagram thank you for joining hi hello mac mac how are you doing thank you for joining me it 
um, it is to remind me. So number one, it affects your planet. When you want something in your life, okay, and you envision yourself having it, you make plans toward it. So it affects your plans and everything, and your plans affect how you spend, save, save, or make your money. It affects the actions. I mean, and some people might say planning is an action, but what I'm saying with your planning, okay, so I have a plan together. You know, we've all had these plans. Oh, I'm going to lose 40 pounds by uh by summer. Oh, I'm going to pay all my debts off by January. I'm not going to be, I'm going to be a, a lender and not a borrower. And we have not activated our faith. Okay. And we and then we use the we use the excuse saying if if it meant if it's meant to be God will provide. I'm just waiting on the Lord to lead me to somebody. I'm waiting on the Lord to fix it. God gonna fix it. I done gave it off to Him. Guess what? It's already done. You know why why I say that and how I know that is God made a open a provided you with an open door. And the thing is. He opens the door. Hello, Melanin. Thank you for joining me. Hello, Woman Evolve. I hope this message is better. Hi, how are you doing? How I know that he's already done it for you is what God does is he opens up the door of opportunity and he gives you the option of choice. It is your choice to walk through the door. So whatever you envision for your life, you have to activate that thing and you cannot do it alone. Hello, Ev Evelyn. You cannot do it alone. You cannot do it alone because we are designed to be connected. And it was not by accident that you, hey, Michelle, it was not by accident that you came across this broadcast. It was meant to be. There's an open door and there's a message in this lesson for everybody. But will you take the right actions to implement your vision? See, because let me let me break this down a little bit further. So Noah, y'all heard Noah built the ark. God gave him a vision. He even gave him he even gave him a, um, hey, Gina, thank you for joining me. He even gave him a, a picture of what the ark should look like and a purpose. But it was up to him to build the ark. He can't say, well, I'm not going to build the ark. I got, I'm not going to build the ark. I'm going to wait till the Lord cut down the trees. Uh saw down what need to be saw down and then I'm going to build and until the Lord bless me with some nails. Hello, everybody that joined me on Instagram. I'm not going, I'm just going to wait on the Lord and then I'll build the ark. No, he got a vision and he put his, he put action to it. He got a plan and he put actions to it. When you create your business, yes, it starts with the business plan. But if you let it sit there and you do nothing, you don't put actions behind it, then you will never reach your goal. You will never reach your vision. You will never have the clientele that you desire. You will never have money. You have to activate your faith. Hello, thank you for joining me. Francie, Catering, thank you. Jay Stone, how are you all doing today? Woman Evolution, no, Revolution, sorry. Melanin, thank you for joining me. D. Lid, thank you for joining me. Matthew, Born Face, Mor Morris. So, so I gave you two two things: planning and actions. This this activates your vision, your vision, of, your vision board, or how you desire uh, to live your life for your life to be to be 
Does, it, it requires planning, great planning, planning that that has to be revised, revised the, the further you go up. Because the things that I wanted 20 years ago, I already accomplished those things. So what I do, I just keep making goals for myself. I keep uh, activating my faith. Clients, when you have a vision, you act a certain way. Hello, thank you for joining me on Instagram. You act a certain way. You, not only your behavior, let me tell you something. I want to use this person. This is my, the, my stylist. I call him my master stylist. Okay. His name is um, Antoine. And if you in the golf course, y'all need to make an appointment. I'm telling you, he's a master stylist. He gets you together, honey. I want to mention him. Wow. Now he is successful. He is successful, right? His clients, how he behaves allows him to continue to what? Keep clients and get more clients. He posts on Facebook. He posts on Instagram. He had to do some planning and, and, and actually decide what he's going to put on these on this social media uh, thing for his business, right? His his actions in order to get more clients. If you come in his shop and you his customer, he is going to greet you. If he's even if it's not time for you to be seen, he is going to say, "Hey, I, I how are you doing today?" Um, I will be with you in a minute. A minute. Feel free to have a seat. Do you do you do you, um, do you need anything? Blah blah blah. What are we doing today? He has. He's friendly. He greets you. This ensures that he meets his vision. Okay. So of course his money gonna be up. See, because the thing is, when you operating toward a vision, your money's going to follow. People greet him, right? People laugh and kiki and talk nonsense. You know what I'm saying? And what does that do? What that does, great customer services service keeps his clients coming back, has people referring, has people referring other people to him, which means his money up. He gets his money up great personal uh he is a great stylist i'm telling you it helps you personally when you are actively pursuing your vision whatever it is you are able to not only feel good on the inside because you're finally achieving your goals you're able to motivate people around you because whether you say anything, people watch you. One of the things that I'm um, speaking of my master stylist, one of the things they had me coming back besides his friendly, his friendliness, his customer services, he greets you. He, even though he already know what style you said you want it, He'll ask you again, can you let me see that style? I know you wanted this and that. So he pays attention to your needs. I know you like this. Um, I think we were supposed to do this. Would you like to do this? And he's not pushing things that you don't want on you, right? And You'll find the real you. Hi, hi, Stephanie. This is how it helps you personally. It's rewarding when you find something that you love to do. And especially if it provides you with income, because that means you can continue doing what you love to do. If you're in business and you find a business that you love to do, then that motivate, it doesn't feel like work. You can spend hours and hours, and trust me, my master stylist spent hours in the shop and it and never and not tired. You know, you get carried away because you're having so much fun and you enjoying what you what you what you're doing. And you're making money 
for your business and your personal life. And you don't have to work. Eventually, you don't have to work as hard as you did in the beginning because First of all, you started with your vision, you wrote it down or drew a picture, you, you created a vision board, you made it plain, and you activated that faith by taking actions. You And then you turn around, you started seeing clients, and it started helping you not only in your business life, but for your personal, in your personal life. Is that not why we create goals? Because we want to feel better, because we want to look better, because we want to be better. I reiterate, how your vision supplies or subtracts your money is how you plan, the actions you take, your customer service, and the things you do in your personal life. An example of a business, if you have a hair, let's say you have, you decide to be, uh, to sell hair. You can't just post it on social media and think somebody going to find it. There's tons of social media accounts. And when people try to place orders, you ignore them or you do it whenever you feel like it, you send it when, whenever you feel like it, that will never work. You have to deliver quality and excellent customer service. So this, like I, I'm gonna repeat, this month is totally dedicated to the future business owner. I hope those things help you. My name is Jackie, I'm a, I'm a financial coach. What I do is I help people learn learn, excuse me, I help people build and buy their their house, the car of their dreams, and create that business they always desire. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye.